What up, all of you that are here? Um, hi, I need to get this set up, so mind me. Um, today's class, um, you have opportunity for handstands. Um, so my handstand area is right here where my finger is. Um, so if you do want uh, time, we'll be doing handstand uh, switch hops. And what a switch hop is, is just going to handstand and trying to switch the feet. Um, so the handstands are optional. If you're not doing uh, the switch hop, then you just like switch your feet. Um, I'll go over this a little bit later, but like if you do need the space again, about here or so, um, we'll be in a crescent lunge into the pyramid pose, not pyramid pose, but somewhere along these lines. Um, we'll shift forward, plant the hands, try to handstand and switch the legs. So if you do want to go for your handstands, uh, make sure that we do have some space in front. Um, also, what we'll be doing um, while I wait for everyone to get here, um, we're doing a crow pose uh, from a falling star, which is really hard. Um, so if you guys do arm balances with me, I often say to shift forward as much as you can and really shift forward in this one. So just a quick demo and then we'll get started. Um, we're in the falling star. Um, you might even be hovering this leg. I'll go over this later. Once I plant my hand, my knee comes outside the shoulder. We're super far back here. So we might start to walk this back foot in, need to tricep crow pose, or eventually we don't use that back leg and it takes us to a one-legged crow. Um, lots of movement today. Go at your own pace. Uh, mind your own injuries. If something's not working for you, here's my light. Um, <laughs> if something's not working for you, of course, please do not do it. And if you have questions, let me know. Not now because we're going to do the yoga. Cool. So with that being said, you should have Demeter on hand on your Spotify. Um, and by you, I mean, I need to get mine ready, but we are going cool. So Demeter, um, if you didn't get it, we're gonna start it anyway. So play something you want, uh, but we're gonna start that music in three, in two, one. Cool. Mm -hmm. So as that gets going, um, we will find a comfortable seat. Um, so any seated position works just the same as long as you're comfortable. You can sit on the butt, the hips, whatever you wanna do. Once you are seated, you might wiggle around on the sit bones, get even between the two. And then just allow the hands to fall wherever they need to. So they can face up, down, forward, sideways, any way they face, just allow them to fall. From here, can you start to seal the lips? Elongate through the back of the spine, maybe chin slightly bows, and start to engage your ujjayi breath, inhales and exhales through the nose. And start to set a sort of rhythm that you can work with. And something that feel comfortable, feels comfortable for you to work with, for you to breathe with. And of course, if you lose this rhythm, it happens. You'll probably lose it today. Um, we'll be moving again quite a bit, moving again quite a bit, that was. Um, so if you do lose the breath, just try to come back to it. Good. From here, eyes can stay closed or open. Just clasp the hands together. It doesn't matter which thumb on top, but just remember which thumb is on top and do some wrist circles. So figure eights. Um, they don't have to be perfect figure eights or perfect circles. Just get a feeling to how the wrists feel today. Maybe the right wrist feels rough. Maybe left wrist feels great. Yeah, so remember which thumb is on top. Stop figure eighting. Flip the palms forward. And then just take the arms up to the sky. Gaze can follow. Inhale, breath. And then exhale. Just bend the elbows. Cactus arms. Squeeze shoulders behind you. Good. Hands come heart center. Clasp the other thumb on top. And then do some figure eights. So back to those figure eights. Good. In both directions. Yeah, to flip the palms forward and take them up to the sky. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, bend the elbows, cactus arm, peel the shoulders open. And hands come heart center. And chin can slightly bow. Take a moment here, set an intention for your class if you'd like to. Anything to motivate you or guide you through today. And with that into your mind, tabletop. You might close the eyes, keep the eyes closed if you'd like to. I'm gonna close my eyes for quite a bit um, when we go through this movement. So unless you need to see me, I encourage the uh, eyes closed. So tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, start to cat and cow there. Um, so every inhale, breath, chest can rise, tailbone can rise. Every exhale, arch the spine, press the floor away. And start to move these through these movements in your own way. So really take time to change it and see how the body feels today. Eyes are closed, so really that you can tone into the body. Um, 
depriving yourself of a sense, i.e. sight, um, will enhance the other si uh, senses, so feeling. So really taking this time, you might feel something a little bit new, who knows? And then as you're ready, we'll take this to downward facing dog. If you're still moving, take your time. But as you're ready, we'll tuck the toes, lift the hips to sky. And continue the, mo continue the movement going, walk the dog, shake the legs, anything you need to do. You might nod the head no, shake the head yes. How does the neck feel? So if you take to my class in uh, the studio, this one will be a 70 minute, air quote, around 70 minute class. Um, so I'm using one of my old playlists, but spoiler alert, none of my classes are actually 70 minutes. Um, I do tend to start a little bit late and do announcements. So really, I never teach a full 70 minute class. So if that truly scares you, um, don't be afraid. It, you'll be fine. I'll walk the hands back to the feet, rag doll. And bend the knees, grab opposite elbows, allow the upper body to hang. And we will have a little bit of a longer warm up today. So another whole song, so three minutes or so. Not like super long warm up, but longer than you would typically expect from me. Um, which means the whole playlist, in my opinion, is going to be off-centered by a song, and we'll just see how that works. So, fingers crossed, everything goes okay. Get the hands to the floor. Bend the knees, roll up the spine, piece by piece, head and neck, last thing that comes up. All right, once you arrive, some shoulder shrugs backwards. Good, take some forwards. Good, both arms go up to the sky, inhale breath, palms can meet overhead. And then forward fold, bend the knees, take the hands all the way down to the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin, flatten out the spine. High plank, plant the hands, walk them all the way forward. Hold the high plank there. So hands under shoulders, feet hip width or closer. Check in with the hands and notice how they feel. Um, if you're on carpet or just soft flooring, a lot of times we tend to dump into the wrists, um, the area underneath the wrist, the heel of the hand. Um, so if that's the case, really press to the fingertips. Try to press the ball of the hand, which is the area in between, not the heel, so right above it, in between the fingers and where the fingers and the palm meets. Press there. Get out of the heel of the hand. Inhale, shift forward, high, plan, high on the toes, and then exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the belly. I promise I'll get moving at some point. Good. From here, turn the fingertips off the mat. Elbows go high. Press the feet on the floor, squeeze the thighs. And on the inhale, breath, the cobra of your height. Use hands or not, your choice. Good, exhale, bring it down. Good, a few more like that. Inhale, breath, rise to your height. And then exhale, bring it down. Good, three more, inhale, breath, we rise. And exhale, bring it down. Good, two more, inhale, breath. And exhale. Last one, inhale, breath, we rise. Of course, we'll stay at the top, still breathe, don't hold your breath. And turn to try to send the heart a little bit further forward. Move the shoulders a little bit further down. Good. Now, can you lower just the ribs so chest will stay lifted? Hands will slide next to ribs, child's pose. Big toes touch, knees widen. Sit all the way back to the heels. And forehead rests on the floor. Maybe you stack the palms or fists underneath instead. And from here, I'm going to turn the fingertips, lift the forearms off the floor, and kind of activate the arms a little bit stronger. Good. Only inhale, breath, tabletop, hands and knees. And then downward facing dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips to sky. Walk it out or stay steady, anything that you need to do. And in case you're wondering, there is so much dog hair on my mat. Good. From here on the inhale, breath, high on the toes, look between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, step or walk forward, forward fold. And feet me together or the hip width distance stance. I'm going hip width, but do whatever feels best. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten out the spine. Exhale to fold. Good, inhale, rise, flat back, take the arms all the way up to the sky. And then forward fold, bend the knees all the way back down. Good, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten. Mm, vinyasa, plant the hands, step or hop. High to low plank, your exhale, breath. Your own inhale takes you upward facing dog. Your own exhale, downward facing dog. And tuck the toes, lift the hips to the sky. And of course, always option to modify, change that, anything that you need. Good. And the inhale breath, high in the toes, look between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, step or hop forward, forward fold. 
feet together or that hip width distance stance. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Transition, flatten spine. Exhale to fold. Good. Inhale, rise, flat back, arms all the way overhead. And forward fold, bend the knees back to the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat and spine. And vinyasa. And flatten the hands, step hop, your choice, your route. Hide a low plank or any other route. I'll meet you down, dog. Yeah, it's sun salutation, C variation. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit. Just listen close. On the inhale breath, take the right leg up to the sky. Low lunge, excellently the nose, step it through. You know, drop the back knee. Lift the arms overhead, and right away, I want you to meet the fingertips. Look up to them. Reach as high as you can. Five. Good. Four. And for three. And two. Slowly, hands to the floor. And back knee will lift. You'll straighten both legs a little or a lot. And don't worry about the back heel. Let it do whatever it needs to do. Just focus on lengthening out that front leg. Good. Forward fold. Step forward. Hip width distance or feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat and spine. Good, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, flat back, arms to the sky. And forward fold, bend the knees back to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift, listen close. A right foot steps back, low lunge. You'll drop the right knee. Lift the arms high, meet the fingertips straight to the reach to the sky, five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two, hands to the floor. And back knee lift, straighten both legs a little or a lot, five. Good for four. And three. And two, bend the front knee. Plant hands, it's high plank, step the front foot back. Stay high plank or take one full push up, chest to floor and up. And then you'll drop the knees. And shift back, lower forearms. And slide to up dog, doesn't have to be low. When you're ready, down dog, tuck toes, lift the hips. Yeah, and then from the down dog, inhale, left leg up. Low lunge, knee to nose, step it through. And drop the back knee. And lift the arms overhead right away. Meet the fingertips, look to them, hold for five. Good, reach longer, hold it four. And three. And two, hands to the floor. Back knee lifts, straighten both legs a little or a lot. Again, you might have a bend in that front knee. That's okay. Good. Forward fold, step forward, top of the mat. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten spine. Exhale to fold. Good. Inhale, rise, flat back, arms to the sky. Forward fold, bend the knees down to the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten spine, listen close. Left foot steps back, low lunge. And drop the left knee, lift the arms overhead. Meet the fingertips, look to them, hold it five. And four. And three. And two, hands to floor. And back knee lift, straighten both legs, little or a lot, five. And for four. And three. And two, bend the knee. And plant hands, high plank, step it back. And stay high plank or one full push up, chest to floor and up. And then you'll drop the knees and shift back the forearms. Slide to up dog your inhale breath and down dog the exhale. Yeah, and then you all know active squat. We'll hit it real quick. So on the inhale breath, high in the toes, look forward. Bend the knees, step or hop, active squat. Feet outside the hands, you'll bend the knees, lift chest right away. Good, hands hard to stand. And take arms high, inhale breath. Bend knees, hands forward. And plant hands, step or hop, vinyasa. Your choice. You're out to down dog. I'll meet you there. Round one. And from the down dog, inhale, take the right leg up to the sky. Good. Crescent lunge. Excellent. Need to know. Step between the hands. And back toes stay tucked. Stay stuck. You'll lift the arms to the sky. So as per usual, front knee stacks directly over the ankle. Back heel is lifted off the floor high off that right heel. 
From here, we'll take it to a candlestick lunge. On the inhale breath, reach the hands as high as you can. And then exhale breath, you're just gonna drop the right hand towards the floor, left arm high. So it's like a side body stretch standing up, uh, but with different legs. So my right hand reaches down, left arm actively reaches to the sky. Good. And the inhale breath, right palm up, meet the left. Hands come hard center, prayer twist to the right. Left elbow, right thigh. Actively use that elbow, start to lift the heart. Eventually thumbs come center line of the chest. Good, now keep the twist. Look down to the right big toe. For chair twist, either step or walk that left foot forward to meet the right. And feet can be together or hip width distance stance. But the feet in one line, the knees in one line. So really move that left knee back with the right. Good, hips stay low, it's chair pose, just lift the arms up to the sky. Good, perch pose, airplane wings, bow the torso halfway, and really squeeze the shoulders behind you, try to squeeze the shoulders behind you. Good, from here to stay or the challenge, you'll hover the right foot and try to kick the butt, hold it five. Good, hold it four, and for three, and two, listen close, right foot steps back. Into crescent lunge, take both arms overhead. Meet the palms or the fingertips, look to them, reach as high as you can or soft back bend five. Good, hold it four, and for three, and two, slowly hands to floor. In pyramid pose, just shift it back, straighten out the front leg. And if you wanna shorten the stance, get that back heel down by all means. The feel the right hip push forward, left hip back. Good, bend the front knee, shift forward, look forward, you might lengthen stance. Good, shift it back, straighten leg, two more. Good, bend the knee, shift forward, gaze forward. Last one, shift it back, straighten leg. Good, now gaze forward. We have three attempts at a handstand or just vinyasa, your choice. So you'll shift forward, plant the hands, try to jump the feet up to the sky. If you've got a handstand, cool, hold it, oh shit. Um, and if you don't, three attempts at a handstand, and then we step or hop, land in the low plank, vinyasa. Also, I think that if I fall, I might curse every single time. So like, if you get offended by that, I'm sorry, but we're all doing the best that we can. <laughs> and from the down dog in five. Good, down dog in four. And down dog in three. In two. And down dog, inhale, left leg up. And to crescent lunge, exhale, lean the nose, step between the hands. And back to those top, you'll lift both arms overhead. So again, my front knee stacks. Back heel as lifted as you can, stay high in the right toes, stay active in the right leg. Good, we have the candlestick on the inhale breath, just reach higher to the sky. And then exhale, just drop the left hand towards the floor, but try not to crunch in the left side ribs, find a lift there, five and four. And three, and two, left arm up, meet the palms. And then hands hard center, prayer twist to the left. Right elbow, left thigh. And again, press the palms together, lift the heart in this twist. So notice if it feels like chest is dropping, can you lift it forward, find one line right heel, to kind of head. Good, gaze down to left big toe. For chair twist, we either step or walk that right foot forward to meet the left. And again, hip width distance stance works as well. But move that right hip back. Try to keep the hips nice and low. Good. Legs will stay. Chair pose. Lift the arms to the sky. Sit low for five. And four. And three. And two. Perch pose. Airplane wings. Bow halfway forward. Hold. And to stay or hover the left foot. And kick the butt. Hold it five. Good. Hold it four. And for three. And two, step back, crescent lunge. Reach the arms up to sky. Meet fingers or palms, look to them, stay or light back, then five. Good, you've got many options, doesn't have to be deep four. And for three. And two, slowly hands to floor. And shift it back, straight in the front leg, pyramid pose. Good, bend the front knee, shift forward, look forward. And shift it back, two more. Good, bend the front knee, shift forward. Last one, shift it back. 
Yeah, now the option, hey, actually, not option, just look forward. We'll shift forward, plant the hands, three handstand attempts, or a handstand if you've got it. And then vinyasa, I will meet you in down dog, in five. And down dog in four. And down dog in three. In two. And down dog. Inhale, take the right leg up. Around two, cross and lunge, knee the nose, step it through. And back to those tough, you'll lift both arms overhead. Keep the legs, inhale, breath, reach higher to the sky. And candlestick, right hand falls, left arm reaches as high as you can. Good, now listen close. From here, we're going to take it straight to the prayer twist. Can you look towards your right elbow? Swipe that left elbow to meet the right knee. From there, the right hand meets the left, palm center. And then we press together, lift the heart, thumbs towards, or chest towards the thumbs. Good, now stay. From here, can you squeeze the left thigh, make it a little stronger, activate left leg. And two options for this next part. It's a step to chair twist or a float to chair twist. Of course, if we're floating, we'll shift forward, 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 high on back toes, and then bring the left knee in to meet the right, kick the butt for five. Good, if you got it, still work the twist for four. And for three. And two, land the feet, chair pose, on high. And to stay. Or the challenge, start to hover the right foot just off the floor. Have the challenge, bring the knee to chest, but do not lose the bending either knee five. Good, four. And three. And two, bent leg warrior three, your right leg flies back. Left knee will stay bent. And belly strong, we're here for five. Good, four. And three. And two, land back toes, it's crescent lunge, take it to the back bend or skip it. Five. Good, so I'm not back bending, but you might, you here for four. Hold it for three. And two, slowly hands to floor. And shift it back, straighten leg, pyramid pose. Now we'll hold here, feel the right hip move forward, left hip back. The idea with this next part, again, is a switch step handstand. So if you're not switching, or if you're not handstanding, we will just switch the legs to your uh, crescent lunge. If you are doing the handstand, you'll plant the hands, as many hops, three hopefully, if you'd like, and then we try to land on the right foot forward in a crescent lunge. So we'll find that right leg forward crescent lunge in five. Right leg forward crescent lunge in four. Right leg forward, crescent lunge in three. In two. And crescent lunge to warrior two, back heel spins, arms open. And right knee stays center. You gaze down the right hand. Good, reverse the triangle, straighten leg, high five the back wall. And both eyes squeeze as strong as you can. And feel the right middle finger drag you to the sky. Good. Triangle pose. Inhale, reach forward, hips go back, and then we tick tock the arms six and 12. Now, check here if it feels like that left shoulder is falling forward. Can you open left chest to sky? Maybe look to sky. Now, if that feels like you're arching the back, can you try to press hips forward? So, I'm pressing my hips towards the camera. You will press your hips forward to whatever wall is on your left side, if that made sense at all. Good. We're here for five. Good. For four. And three. And two, pyramid pose, your left hand's gonna fall. And back heel will lift as you bend the front knee. Good, then we plant the left hand, lift right onto the sky. From here, keep the arms, it's side plank of choice. And back heel can spin down, right foot steps back. If we need to modify, drop the left knee. Or do the challenge with me, right knee as high to the sky as we can for five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two, falling star, right hand drops. My right leg's gonna kick underneath my left arm. Back heel spins, I lift that left arm. And to stay here or the challenge, I hover that right foot, hold it for five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two, crow pose. We'll plant the left hand, take right knee to right tricep. Now we're probably very far back, so we'll kind of walk this foot forward, bend the elbow, slide this left knee in to meet the right. And crow pose for five. It doesn't have to be perfect. It won't be perfect for three. 
And two, listen close, hop it back, low plank into high plank. Good, right leg to sky, three leg down dog, right leg lift. And lizard lunge, step outside the right hand. Good, right arm up to the sky. And stay here or the crunch, it's left knee, right elbow, crunch, bring it in. If you did, step it back. Stay the crunch or the kick, left foot goes forward, touch the toes for the kick. Your choice to step back. Good, stay, crunch or kick, last one. Your choice to step back. Good, then from here back heel spins, it's side plank or wild thing. The right foot steps back or steps behind the hips as you lift the hips to sky five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two, my wild things, can you bring it to side plank? Engage the belly first, then lift that right knee to the sky. And then everyone, it's twisted lunge. How slow can we step that right foot forward? Good. And if you lost the right hand, you lift it up once you're there. Good. Big movement. Big movement. Taking this to stork pose. My right arm is going to reach up to the sky. Inhale, breath. It swings back. It goes under. Stork pose. Left leg up. And to stay or straighten arms, do whatever. Five. And four. And three. And two, warrior three, take the body parallel to the floor. And back leg squeezes, belly strong, five. Good, four. And three. And two, standing splits, hands drop, left leg reaches high, hold the standing splits, five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two, warrior three, bring it back. Into a hover stand, we'll straighten both legs, hover left foot one inch off the floor. So left foot is hovering, it's a hover stand. Good, from here, shrimp squat. My left knee's gonna kill, left foot's gonna kick the butt. My left knee goes to right ankle, and back to hover stand, both legs straight. Good, two more, right knee, left ankle, shrimp squat. Ah, to hover stand. Last one to shrimp squat. Good, to hover stand, can you line the feet up? Land left toes, lift the right heel, and toe stand and squeeze the thighs together. Now stay here or balance challenge. We'll drop the heels, but lift the toes. Hips go back to counter that balance. If you've got it, oh, back to toe stand. So heels up, toes down, her toe, yeah, toe stand. Keep the back on the wall, slide all the way down. It's fun doing this and trying to teach at the same time. I don't know what I'm doing. That's a lie, I'm a professional. Cool, from the toe stand, it's crow pose. Plant the hands, knees to triceps, or take the arm balance. Try to take the knees in close to the armpits as you can. And if you got the one-legged crow, try it out. Maybe that right knee just hovers center if you go one-legged five. Good, four. And four, three. And two, step or hop, vinyasa. Your choice. Your route. I'm gonna find that second side. And from the down dog, inhale, take the left leg up to the sky. And to crescent lunge, knee to nose, step it through. And back toes tuck, arms lift up to sky when ready. And fronty stacks as usual. Good. Candlestick, inhale, breath, reach higher. Then left hand falls, right hand stays as high as you can. Good. Now look to the pinky toe side edge of your left knee. Lots of things. Chair to a uh, prayer twist. So my right elbow is going to swoop down. And from there, I'll bring the palms together and press them together to lift the heart to the thumbs. And then again, from there, squeeze the back right leg. Hold. And two options. Look to left big toe. Hit a step or a float. Chair twist. If you're floating, right knee comes in to meet the left. Kick the butt five. Good, but work the twist for four. And three. And two, chair pose, land feet, lift the chest to stay. Or the challenge, you'll hover the left foot off the floor. Maybe knee to chest, do not lose the bend, either knee five. Good, four, and three. And two, bent leg warrior three, left leg goes back, but the right knee stays bent. Can you lift the chest as high as you can, five. Four, three, and two, crescent lunge, land toes, take it straight to back bend or skip it, hold it, five. Good, four. And for three, and two, slowly hands to floor. Pyramid pose, straighten the front leg, shift it back. 
Right hip back, left hip forward. Good. From here, it's a handstand, three hops to switch, or just one hop, or no hops. We'll find the left foot forward in a crescent lunge in five. Ooh. Left leg forward, crescent lunge in four. Left leg forward, crescent lunge in three. In two. Left foot forward, crescent lunge, arms high, inhale. Warrior two, open right. And front knee stays directly over that ankle. Reverse the triangle, straighten leg, high five the back wall. And again, more going up to the sky. Less reaching back. And triangle pose. Inhale, reach forward, hips go back. And tick tock the arms, six and 12. Good, and torso stays over that front thigh. Your back right hip is going closer to your right wall. So the right hip is moving forward and that's gonna create space in the low back. Maybe gaze up for three. Good, two. All right hand to floor. And back you will lift as you bend the knee, runner's lunge. And then we add, plant the right hand, lift left arm, your twist. From here, side plank, arms will stay. My left foot steps back. Modify or challenge or challenge with me. Left knee as high to the sky as we can. Hold it five. Good, hold it four. And for three. And two, falling star, drop the left hand, kick the left leg under, right onto sky. If you like that challenge, you hover that left foot five. Good, four. And three. And two, drop hand, left knee, left elbow, shift forward, 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 forward. Swing this right knee in, crow pose, hold it five. Good, shift forward to get that fly for four. And for three. And two, hop back, low plank. It's a high plank, press it up. Good, left leg to sky, three leg down dog, left leg. And as your lunge, step outside the hand. Good, add the twist, left arm to sky. Stay or the crunch, right knee, left elbow, bring it in. Your choice to step back. Stay, crunch, or kick, right foot forward for the kick. Your choice to step back. Good. Stay or one more, your choice. Good. To step back. And from here, right heel spins to the floor. It is side plank or wild thing. So back where we were, or left foot steps behind the hips, and take it to your back then. Five. Good. Hold it. Four. And for three. And two, my wild things. Can you bring it to side plank, stack shoulders? Then squeeze the belly, lift that left leg to the sky. Everyone how slow can you step that left foot forward, twisted lunge. Whew. And again, if you need to drop the hand for transition, by all means, just lift it when you're there. Good, big movement here to stork pose. My left arm goes up, inhale, breath. It reaches back, arm circle. Right arm joins, stork pose, bring it up. Good, to stay or straighten arms, whatever, five. And four, and three. And two, warrior three, leg goes back, body parallel, five. Good, inside a right thigh, up to the sky, four. And three, and two, standing splits, drop hands, lift the right leg, hold it, five. Good, keep it four. And for three, and two, warrior three, to hover, stand, you'll stand, right foot hovers just off the floor. Good, shrimp squat, bend the right knee, right knee, left ankle, touch it. Hover, stand, bring it up. Good, two more, right knee, left ankle, shrimp squat. Hover stand. Good, last one, shrimp squat. And to hover stand, right foot lines up in line with left. Land the right toes, lift your left heel, high on the toes, toe balance. Stay here, or balance challenge, heels drop, toes lift, hips back. If you've got it, toes down, heels up. And then slowly slide down the wall. It's toe stand. And back is on the wall. Eventually, knees hover below the hips. Stay here or crow pose. Hands plant, knees in towards as high the armpits as you can. Arm balance five. Maybe one legged left leg as you got it four. Good for three. And two step or hop. Vinyasa. Cool. Once you're behind the down dog, have a seat. We got a little extra time, so I'm going to go over this curl or this side of falling star into one-legged curl. So the idea with this 
is I'm gonna falling star to my back just so you know what it looks like. We can hover the leg if you'd like. This time we have the challenge to hover, sit to the heel. From here, I'm gonna plant my hands, take my left knee as high into the armpit as I can. If I'm going one-legged one curl, I'm gonna bend my elbows, shift forward, 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 watch my back leg slide, then I can lift to the sky. You move the mat, that's fine. What it also might look like for the curl pose is we plant the hands, knee to tricep, bend the elbows, slide, 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 slide this knee into the knee to the right, lift the foot. We can also step that foot in to curl pose. It's an ambitious transition, but I wanted to do it because why not? Down dog, round three, last one. Who's excited? Who's not tired because not me, cool. Down dog, in three, in two, inhale, right leg high. Good, crescent lunge, knee the nose, step it through. And back toes tuck, you'll lift the arms up to the sky. A little bit quicker in this round, just because like, I'm very nervous that we're gonna round at this time. <laughs> Good, inhale, breath, reach up to the sky. And candlestick, right hand falls, left arm stays to the sky just for a moment. Look outside the right knee, it's prayer twist, left elbow to that spot, right hand joins, press the palms, lift the chest. Three choices. It's a step to chair twist, a float, or added float challenge. You shift forward, 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 just lift that left leg to sky. Very similar to what I just did on the hands. We're here for five. Good, hold it for and three, three, and two, land the feet, chair pose, arms go high to stay, or lift the right knee to chest as high as you can, keep the bend both knees, five, maybe straighten that right leg, four, and three, and two, bent leg warrior, three, right leg flies back, can you sit lower in that left leg, five, good, can you straighten out the left leg, four, and can you re-bend it for three? Good, can you straighten it for two? For one, can you bend the knee, land toes, crescent lunge straight with a back bend or skip it five? Good, four, three, and two, hands to the floor. Shift it back, straighten out that front leg. Good, you've got the three high end stand hops to switch or just go to your crescent lunge. We'll meet in the crescent lunge with the right foot forward in five. And crescent lunge, right leg forward, four. In three. In two. And crescent lunge, right leg forward, inhale, breath. Until warrior two, back heel spins, arms open. Adjust the stance. Good, this one's fun. Reverse triangle, straight in front leg, high five the back wall, listen for the change here. Warrior two. Bend the knee to extended side angle, reach forward, 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 use hand or not to lift that back leg. And any arms here, we're here for five. Good, can you flex left foot for four? And for three, and two, listen close, it's warrior three, square the hips off to stay. Or revolved half moon, right hand up, left hand down, five. Good, I'll hold it four, and for three, and two, twisted lunge, and the right knee. Plant left hand. When you're ready, side plank. My right leg steps back. The challenge right knee is up to the sky. Five, side plank. Hold it for four. And for three. And two, falling star. Right hand plants. Right leg kicks under. It might hover for that challenge. And deeper challenge, you bend the left knee. Hover to the heel. Five. And four. And three. And two, plant the hands, right knee, right elbow, crow pose, or one-legged crow again. You bend the elbow, shift forward, 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 to lift that left leg, five. Good, four, four, three, two, three, leg down dog, right leg up to the sky. Good, lizard lunge, right foot steps outside. Good, right arm up to the sky. Stay here, or the crunch, or the kick, you hold. If you've got the kick, maybe need to chest, try no hands, pistol squat. Good, your choice to lizard lunge with a twist step back into the side plank or the wild thing that you get to choose. If you feel ready for the full wheel, up to you. We're here for five. Good, four and three and two, side plank, my wild things bring it back. The challenge, you lift that right knee to the sky. And deeper challenge, try to land that right big toe first. 
and twisted lunge. Right foot forward. Good. And if you lost the arm, you lift it up once you're there. Good. Big movement. Right arm high. Inhale, breath. Right arm reaches back. It goes under. Stork pose. Big jump. And to stay or straighten, hold it. Five. Good. Four. And three. And two. Warrior three. Left leg goes back. Arms wherever. Hold it. Five. And four. And three. And two, standing splits, maybe scales. Try no hands, airplane wings, five. Good, hold it, four. And three, and two, hover stand, come up that left leg, we'll hover. <laughs> to this little squat, turn squat, turn squat. Left knee, right ankle, try to touch it. Hover stand. Good, this little squat. Hover stand. Last one, listen for the change. It's pistol squat, left knee, right ankle, hold it, five, four. And three, and two, drop the hands. The left foot steps back. You drop the knee below the hip. You lift the arms. Bad knees, be careful. Hit the shin balance. Start with lifting the right heel. Belly strong, think store pose, maybe right leg. Out of the challenge, maybe right leg straightens, hold it five. Good, four. And three, and two, can you bring the right knee next to left? Knees down. And tuck the toes, sit to heels. Toe stand, lean back to lift. Good, now for added challenge for kicks and giggles, you do a pistol squat or the challenge, you stay on the left toes for that pistol squat. Right leg goes forward, left leg's my good leg, which is why we're doing that first. Five, good, four, and three, and two, right foot forward, start pose, left leg up. And to stay or finish straight leg, five, and four, and three, and two, mountain pose, heels, toes, touch. Hands hard. Gorgeous, inhale, arms high. And forward fold, bend the knees, take it down. Good, inhale, halfway lift, grow long. And plant hands, vinyasa of choice. It might be crow pose, it might be something else entirely. We got some time. <sighs> we will find that vinyasa. We'll meet back with down dog. Down dog in five. Good, down dog in four. Down dog in three. In two. Down dog, last time. Inhale, left leg high. And crescent lunge, step it through. And back toes tuck, and your arms lift high whenever ready. Good, inhale, breath three times. And left hand falls, candlestick, find length on that right side a moment. Look outside the left knee, prayer twist, right elbow finds that spot. Left hand joins, press the palms, lift the heart and towards the thumbs. Good. Three options for this one. It's a step to chair twist. That float knees together or you shift forward, 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 lift that back leg five. Good work, the twist for four. And three, and two, chair pose, land feet, arms high to stay. Or bring the left knee to chest, do not lose the bend in either knee for now. Maybe straighten leg, don't round the spine, five. And four, and three, and two, bent leg warrior three, left leg flies back, right knee stays bent for five. Good, can you straighten the right leg, four. Good, can you bend it for three? Straighten it for two. Bend it, land crescent lunge with a back bend or skip it, five. And for four, and for three, and two, slowly hands down. Pyramid pose, shift it back, straighten out that leg, pause. Breathe. Good. Your last attempts, three handstand hop switches or whatever, we will find a crescent lunge with the left foot forward in five. And crescent lunge, left foot forward, four. In three. In two, crescent lunge, left foot forward, arms go high, inhale, breath. Warrior two, open right. Reverse the triangle, straighten leg, high five, the back wall. Let's move change, it's warrior two, bend the knee. And to standing half moon, lean forward, 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 to lift that back leg. 
And once it lifts the right foot, flexes, drive the heel back five. Good, hold it four. And for three. And two, or your three, square it off to stay. Or revolve, half moon, right hand down, left arm high, try to hover five. Good, work it four. And for three. And two, twisted lunge, right hand plants, right foot back. When you're ready, side plank, left foot steps back, any type of side plank for five. Good, hold it four. And for three. And two, falling star, left hand plants, left leg kicks under, it might hover. To stay or bend the right knee, hover to the heel, five. And four, and three. And two, drop the hand, left knee, left elbow, shift forward, 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 crow pose, one legged crow, or stay five. And four, and three, and two, three leg down dog, left leg up. To lizard lunge, step outside. Good, out the twist, left arm high. And to stay the crunch or the kick, you choose. If you've got the kick, maybe left knee to chest, both hands, and pistol squat. Good, your choice, lizard lunge, step it back, right foot back, left arm high. And then it is side thing or wild thing. Don't mind my labored breathing. I'm totally fine, I promise. So side plank or wild thing, five. Good, hold it, four. And for three. And two, my wild things, can you bring it back, side plank? Activate the belly, lift that left knee to the sky. And then your challenge, left knee to chest, try to land the big toe first. Twisted lunge. Whew. And if you lost the left arm, of course you lift it when you're there. Is this the final push? It's not. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Left arm reaches back, it goes under, stork pose, big jump. Good, stay or straighten that leg, hold it, five. And four, and three. And two, warrior three, right leg back, arms wherever, hold it, five. Good, four, and three, and two, standing splits with hands or not, maybe chest just drops, heel rises, five. Good work, the balance, four, and three, and two, hover stand, bring it all the way up, hover that right foot just off the floor. Good, Shra shrimp squat, right knee, left ankle, kick the butt. Good, hover stand, bring it up, and two more, right knee, left ankle. Good, hover stand, bring it up. Last one, we go low, we stay low, hold it, five, four, three, and two, hands down, right foot steps back. We drop the right knee below the hip. Once you've got it, hands left. Again, be mindful with the knees for this next part. Start with lifting left heel to stay, horseshoe balance, left foot lifts, it might also straighten five. It's just like a stork pose, four, and for three, and two, bring the left knee to meet the right, and tuck the toes, sit to heels, lift the knees, and toe stand. Good luck. To stay or we try your left leg fly forward, pistol squat on the toes. It's like a toe stand and a pistol five. Whew. Oh God, four. <laughs> Not on the right leg for three. And two, left foot steps forward, stork pose, big jump. To stay or finish straight leg, hold it, five. And four, and three, and two, mountain pose. Hands heart center. Oh, good. Flow's done, but thank God they've got another song after this. Inhale, like the, uh, inhale take the arms to the sky. And forward fold, take it down to the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin, flat and spine. Your crow pose, arm balance, whatever you need to do. Vinyasa, your choice. We will meet back in down dog in five. Good. In four. In three, in two, and downward facing dog. Whew. Actually, I'm gonna be nice, mainly because I'm very, very out of breath. Um, have a seat. Uh, we're gonna take it to Half Pigeon. So we have a whole nother song. It's my buffer song, so we're gonna skip the buffer song because I'm tired and we got yeah, where's he skip that? So if you're on with me on Spotify, we will skip that in three, two, one. It should be tired. Good song. Um, <laughs> good name song. From the down dog, it's half pigeon. Um, so we'll take the right leg up to the sky, right knee towards the right wrist, 
ankle towards the left, hips as even as you can. Stay here in hands, forearms, or take it down to the floor. So why I wanted to do that transition specific to crow pose, one-legged crow, it's my favorite. Um, if you ever wanna enter a one-legged crow from a three-legged down dog, that's basically the same entrance. Um, you take the knee onto the tricep, bend the elbows to create the shelf, but then the entire body weight needs to shift forward. Um, now it does require a lot of core and a lot of muscles in general. Um, as I'm passing the knee to the tricep, um, I'm using that to kind of lock everything in. So my shoulders lock, and still my belly locks, everything in my, my entire body locks. And by locks, I mean not moving. So my elbows aren't shaking, they might be shaking. Um, but I'm trying to keep the body as still as I can, shift that forward, and then as I keep the body still, I'm able to lift that back leg to the sky. Um, that probably made no sense, so I'm gonna show you right now while you're still here. Um, so if I go from a three-legged down dog, I do this instead of hurdler because I hate hurdler. Um, but it looks something like this. So my leg would go up to the sky. Um, you're still in half pigeon, by the way. If you're not, don't stand a half pigeon. Um, from here, my left knee is going to go as high up to the armpit as I can. I bend the elbows. From here, I squeeze the belly, squeeze the arm, squeeze everything as strong as I can. Shift forward, 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 forward. Back leg starts to slide. And then I can lift this back leg to the sky. Um, it's a lot of muscle. Switch sides, half pigeon. Um, so go back to down dog. Take it out, switch it out, half pigeon, the left side. Um, so it's a lot. I like to think of, um, yeah, I don't think of anything actually. <laughs> I don't think at all. Um, no, um, I wanted to say a flag, but that's not really um, the right analogy I was looking for. You should be half pigeon left side if you're not already. Um, but I like to think of it as like, I guess a pulley is what I'm trying to say. So I pull the rope here to lift the weight. I don't think this is <laughs> working at all. Um, but I like to think of it as this. So as I'm pushing my knee to the tricep, that's the pulling of the rope to lift the weight that it is my right leg. Um, so the stronger I can press here, the stronger this becomes, the lighter the leg becomes, at least in my body. It makes sense for me. Um, if all of this is going completely over your head, um, it does require, again, a lot of core muscle strength, a lot of things in general. Um, it's just really hard. But once you get to do it, it's so much fun and I do it every class. So um, something to look forward to. Um, from the half pigeon, we will shift to the left, swing the right leg forward, have a seat on your mat. Good, right away, we'll bend the knees, feet to the floor, hands come behind the hips, feet wide, and of course we will windshield wiper the legs because it would not be a body class unless we didn't windshield wiper something. I used to never do this, which is weird. Um, I think I really only started windshield wiping the legs like a year or two ago, um, within the past two years at least. Um, and again, it's not the most like sensation you'll ever find. In fact, I don't get like much from it, um, but it makes my low back feel happy, which, so I like to do it. Cool, from here, knees come center, straight the legs out. Um, we're gonna go wide-legged forward fold. So if you can be a little bit wide or you can turn towards me all the way wide, I'm just gonna, I guess, decide to show you my crotch, but that works. Um, cool. So legs about as wide as you can. Luckily I wore my longer shorts today. Um, yeah, so legs as wide as you can. Once you're here, hands are gonna come behind the hips. I want you to slide the body forward. Um, it'll widen the legs out a little bit more. Now, depending on how this feels, this is a perfect place to stay. If you're getting a good stretch on the thighs, there's nothing wrong with staying here. If you do want more, hands are gonna come inside. We can crawl it forward. Sometimes I drop to the forearms. Sometimes I crawl it forward. Sometimes I grab both my feet. Um, I used to do that like two, three years ago, but I haven't been in that shape in a very long time. Um, um, yeah, I used to do this all the time. Another stretch I used to do all the time, um, why I stopped was with my knees. Um, my knees are weird these days. You shouldn't be stretching the knees in this position. So if it feels like a stretch in and around the knee joint, you might be stretching the tendon, um, which I find with my hips, it's hard to be in the shape and not stretch the tendon. Um, so in order to not do that, play with the rotation of the feet, turn them inwards or outwards, maybe even bend the knees. Um, but we want to get the stretch in the thigh, not around the knee. Um, if you do find that stretch in the knee, walk it back, bring the feet in closer and go down here. Um, the wider you are going with the legs, the more you're going to stretch the inside of the knees. And again, not the goal. 
Good. From here, take it over to the right. So just walk either hinge towards the right, gently pressing the chest forward, or maybe you start to crawl it forward. I like my left hand pinky toe side edge of the foot just because I like to do that. Yeah, then take it center all the way over to the left. Yeah, and then drop it center, just down the center for a moment. We're here for five. Yeah, and hold it for four. And for three. And two. Yeah, and slowly walk it back up. Hands come outside knees, bend the knees, feet to the floor. I'll spin forward. You don't need to spin at all, maybe. Who knows? You might need to. Uh, but once the feet are on the floor, I'll reach the arms forward and then just slowly roll down to lie on your back. Uh, and then once you're on the back, bring the feet in a little bit closer. We'll take two back bends here. Um, so we've done quite a bit of wild things and stuff. You might be ready for a wheel if you'd like to take it first one by all means. Um, my back sucks these days. So I'm going to stay uh, with a bridge pose, hopefully. So, yeah. So feet as close to the hips as you can. I'm touching my middle finger to the heel of the foot. Try to get relatively that as close as you can. From here, charge to the heels, lift the hips to the sky, bridge or wheel. If you're going wheel, you're on your own. Um, if you're going bridge, just try to squeeze the thighs together, lift the hips as high as you can. Um, my personal variation here is pressing my elbows down and then sliding my hands underneath my low back and trying to use that to lift up a little higher. And that really depends on how long your forearms are and how big your back bend is. We're here for five. Good, hold it for four. Good, for three. And two. And slowly release, roll down the spine, pause there. And maybe knees cave in towards each other. Maybe they do something else entirely, really, again, anything that you like here. And so one more final back bend. Um, we, I will do a bridge for a wheel pose. I feel ready and good for it. So that's the thing. Mind your body. If you don't think you're good, then don't do it. But if you're like, I'm not good. And then you're like, wow, now I'm good. Like me. <laughs> Maybe try it out. But please be mindful. Don't be like, I feel great. And then you don't. And then you hurt yourself. Um, because I've, I've pulled many things um, in all the areas. That was going somewhere. I don't know. Last back bend. Charge to the heels. Lift the hips to sky. Bridge pose. If you want to go for a wheel, hands will press, you lift the head. Good. And then if you are on your wheel pose, I want you to strongly start to kick through the leg. Notice how my voice kind of cuts out and then cuts back in. Um, and that just depends on how much I'm pressing my chest forward through the arms. So when I'm very far back, torso is kind of in the middle of my arms and legs, I can talk quite easy. It's simple. I'm not stuck in the shoulders. But by pressing through the legs, pushing my chest forward, that's opening up my shoulders. That is what's kind of making my voice do this. So we're here for five, four, three, two, come down whenever. Chin to chest, to the shoulders, all the way down. Um, so if you've never heard me talk about that, um, watch. just go back and watch this. I'll actually do um, a wheel tutorial. That sounds like a great how-to I'll do next. Um, how-to wheel coming at you sometime whenever I film it. Cool. Here, from me, here needs to chest. Wrap the arms around the knees. This cool down, I feel like it's gone very, very tangenty and just very, I'm talking a lot. So I'm just going to stop doing that. <laughs> when you're moving pose, right knee to chest, hug it in. Left leg goes forward. Actually, I'm just going to continue the tangent. It's really like, funny because like I'm streaming on YouTube, which means I can see the number of people that are here, but I can't like see you guys. So it's not, not much different from my normal class um, or normal filming. Add the twist, the right arm reaches out. Use left hand, guide the knee to the left, right? To the left, two by twist. So it's not much different because it is just me in front of a camera filming. Um, but for some reason, a live stream just gets me all, all giddy. And I just wanna tell you guys everything about myself or about yoga or about the things I think I know about yoga. Who knows? Um, so as we're here, one thing I like to do because talking more, um, <laughs> I like to take my left hand onto about where my back left bone pocket or right back right jean pocket would be or like the middle of the jean pockets and kind of use that to move this twist forward. Um, so if you ever get adjusted in a supine twist, typically they take their right hand or their hand onto your right butt cheek and kind of push it into the twist. So I like to kind of mirror that or do that with my left hand 
um, to create more space in around my lower back. I'm gonna be gentle with it. Don't like just like yank yourself to one direction as strong as you can. And then we'll just bring that back center. Both knees come into the chest, wrap the arms around the knees, gentle squeeze. Yeah, we'll hold left leg, center right leg forward. Hugging out to the shoulder and towards the ribs, try to find contact between the thigh and the ribs. And so find twists, left arm extends, use the right hand, guide the knee over to the right. Um, so I'll use the hand on the knee to guide it over to start. Be here for a little bit of breath or two or three or four. Um, and then I'll move my right hand from the knee onto my left hip or butt and kind of pull that towards the right as well. Um, so just kind of lengthening out the low back and the twist. And also if I'm saying stuff and I have like no idea what I'm talking about um, or it continues to happen especially, um, feel free if you're on my Patreon, send me a message. Um, like, yo, you said something, I didn't get it. Or be like, yo, you mumbled a lot. No one understood what you're saying. Um, Cause that is a thing I do often. Um, so if I'm mumbling or you just don't hear what I'm saying or just any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, they just, yeah, I'm here. So be in here. <laughs> Good. Bring the knee back center. And both knees to chest last time. Yeah, and then your choice here, it's happy baby, plow pose, shoulder stand, or any other thing that you need. I'm going the happy baby route. It's my favorite of the three options. Um, feet over the knees, knees to floor next to the ribs. Anything here that's gonna make your low back feel happy is what I want you to do. Um, that could also be nothing at all, then do nothing at all. Yeah, then as you're ready, you bring the feet to the floor. You can walk the feet in, knees go out, supta baddha konasana. Or widen the distance you do in the feet, allow the knees to fall in, which is what I'm doing. Hands go wherever, I'm taking mine overhead and kind of this cactus shape, just because I like it, how it feels on my shoulders. I'll stay here for a moment, and then when I'm ready, I'll straighten the leg, Shavasana. Feel free to go to Shavasana whenever you're ready, or find any other thing that you need, then hit Shavasana, anything you'd like. And I will guide us out of Shavasana, so if you're waiting for that, feel free to wait. I'm gonna stop talking now. Now this is your practice at home. If you're comfortable here in your Shavasana, stay. Stay here as long as you'd like, as long as you can. And if you're ready to move on, invite some movement back into the body. Now when I said that, there most likely was a part that moved or a part that wanted to move. Move that. Listen to your body. Move organically. Whatever that means to you. So again, when I say the, the phrase move organically, there is most likely something that popped into your head or some sort of movement, maybe it's just a quick big question mark, um, but something popped in your head and just kind of follow that. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It doesn't have to be anything in general, just any kind of movement. To bring yourself more into the awareness of the room that you're in, awareness to the mat beneath you, maybe even the floor beneath your mat, 
and ceiling above your head. And now continue to move organically, increase the movement, grow, increase change, move freely, and allow that to carry you into a seated position. And take your time, there's no rush to get there. And similar to how we started the class, any seated position works just the same as long as you're comfortable. Um, once you arrive, you might wiggle around on the sit bones, get even between the two. Hands can come heart center. Go along to the back of the spine, back of the neck. And she can slightly bow. And close the eyes if you feel comfortable to do so. You pause. And once again, my name is Bobby. Any questions, comments, concerns, send me a message. I'm right here. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday night, or if you're taking this a different time, a different place, enjoy that. And from the very, very bottom of my heart, namaste. Cool, guys. So thank you so much. This is my end of class, but scoot to the front. Uh, if you're still in Shavasana, sorry about the butt scoot. Oh, look, the dogs, they're here. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night. Say hi. Hi. Uh, and goodbye. <laughs>